Good morning, everyone. So I am waiting for, okay, backstory. I'm going to get my hair done today, right? Um, and this happens every time. And I'm not, I'm not talking shit, but like, I love, don't get me wrong. I love the girl who does my hair. I'm not going to say her name. Don't think she's on YouTube, but if you are and you see this, you know, I love you. But I purposely, I purposely make appointments, the first appointments on Fridays, Wednesdays, or Thursdays. I never, she has stand-ins on Saturdays, so you can't, I'm just not that um, high up in the echelon. She's had customers for years. There are clients for years who are, like her Saturdays are booked. So I usually come on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, and I try to book the first appointment. Okay, my girl is always late. Like, how, my first appointment's at 10, her first appointment's at 10 o'clock, and I'm just like, girl, like, how are you always late, like, at 10 o'clock? I don't know, I'm not judging, but anyways, the good thing about it is, let me, um, well, I don't think I can flip the camera right now, but where I get my hair done is, like, this direction, right? I'm in the parking lot right now. Trader Joe's is, like, right in front of me, so it all works out. I think that's why I'm always so calm about it, because... Trader Joe's is in the same parking lot and we all know I love Trader Joe's and then my son is in town so he asked me for um crumble he loves crumble and so I stopped by crumble which is like literally up the street for the Trace Leches Tres Leches um cake for the week so I got him that I don't want to get whipped cream all over oh, shoot all right, there we go. I don't want to get whipped cream all over um, my fingers or in my car. Okay, so I stopped and I got him. Shoot, that's bothering. It's going to bother me. I think I have a napkin in here. Um, I stopped and got him that, and I'm going to go in the Trader Joe's. Okay, shoot, I just dropped you guys. Um, anyways, I am going to go in Trader Joe's, and I have a really good rapport with them. So what I'm going to do is do my Trader Joe's shopping. Um, I asked the girl does my hair if I could if I could just use their fridge to get a few refrigerated items because I saw this one pot lasagna I know I know it's not new but it's been everywhere in my feed and I want to really make it this weekend so I think I'm going to make the one pot lasagna and so I'm going to stop and get all the ingredients from Trader Joe's I want to use um ground turkey instead of ground beef and yeah I'm just going to make my own version of it it's raining today so i'm watching everybody with their hoods and then i was really pissed when i walked in the there came in the parking lot like this lady she obviously there were too many carts to put in the little cart slot so she pushed her cart in and then like six cars carts went back and it backed into somebody's car and i was just like are you gonna go get them in my head but she didn't even go get them she just got in her car and left but now someone's out here I'm um, getting the cards. So yeah, I'm going to head into Trader Joe's really quick. I'm going to grab the items for this um, one pot lasagna. I'll probably post in my Instagram stories how it came out or I might even let you guys see here. But yeah, that's what we're doing this morning. So yeah, I'm just I'm like, girl, how are you late? Like it's 10. Like at 10, I'm already like I did legs today. Today was my leg day. I've done, but But I've been coming to her since I moved out here. And that is always her. But she does such a good job and she's inexpensive. And right now, like, um, this is, and I might talk about this or tell you guys straight. So right now, like, um, being in the military, wearing tight buns and everything, um, my hair, like, literally started thinning. And so I cannot wear the tight buns anymore. So I go to a dermatologist now every six weeks and I get um, steroid injection shots, like, in my head just to bring back like my hairline up here because like yeah it's and then you see I have these grays which I'm not gonna dye yet I'm gonna wait but yeah my hairline up here I'm like my hairline should be like here and it's like here so um but it's been working I've been going for um since January and the follicles aren't dead because they're like even though they're like there was nothing here and now um they're actually like I have some some hang time like a little bit so that's a good sign and then I've been using the seven percent um Rogaine and you get that 
in like term, it has to be prescribed so i get that in i don't know if it's prescribed because you can get it like at any medi spa but where i go get my steroid shot injections is at the medi spa so that's why i haven't been wearing any like weave wigs anything for it's been a while now because i'm trying because now that i'm about to retire like i really just want to get my hair back like super super healthy and really thick and i've been taking the neutrophil is it called neutrophil neutrophil pills and that's i've been noticing like the thickness like coming back in my hair but but yeah that's that's the issues your girl's been just like part of aging i mean i'm so grateful for being alive and waking up but let me get my button trader joe's because she's gonna be late anyways it's 10 07 and she said she's gonna be 20 minutes late but my appointment is at 10 and she texted me at 9 45 to tell me she's gonna be late so like girl you were gonna be late anyways but whatever um i'm gonna get in trader joe's okay guys so as you can see it is a let me back out of this space a rainy day out here i was lucky enough to go pick up my things from trader joe's and yeah now i'm going to head out and run to costco let's get out of here but yeah so we're we are going to head to costco right now and go pick up. i need some batteries i don't really need like a whole lot of things from costco but i need the batteries in bulk just because a lot of my fall stuff has light up stuff like i got some pumpkins from kirkland's years ago and i'm sorry if the if the car or whatever is shaking but um let's see i got some stuff from kirkland's years ago and some pumpkins and they require they require batteries so we're gonna go pick some of those up and yeah i'm just so grateful that i make good connections with people because bump sorry trader joe's held all my stuff while i was at my hair appointment so this shaking and rattling is really getting on my nerves so i'm gonna talk to you guys when I'm done with Costco and head home and I'll show you what I got from Trader Joe's. So I'm at Costco now and I think that I'm gonna be able to leave here spending under a hundred bucks, you guys. This was on sale for um, $23 and this usually is 30 and I see a lot of good, oops, reviews on this. So I'm gonna try it out. I needed some batteries and then I always get this because it has 21 grams of protein. It's just like a really easy air fryer chicken snack if I get a little bit hungry. I'm going to look for some protein bars and if I can't find any, then Costco is a success under $100. It is kind of crazy to see all this Christmas stuff up so early, but I feel like ever since COVID, Christmas stuff has been coming out earlier and earlier. This is nice, not for 100 bucks, but it definitely is nice. And then these deer right here. I would love to have these in my front yard. Look at these. These are adorable. $200. These are nice. So they switched up the flavors on me. These are the ones that I like, but they had another, another flavor. I don't want this peanut butter and jelly flavor, so. We're gonna have to pass on, pass on these. But, yep, three things. I'm leaving Costco with three things today. No more, no more stuff. Okay. So I just got home. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Trader Joe's. I went to Trader Joe's and, and Costco, and I got out of Costco, as you saw previously, with only buying three things. And that is definitely not the norm for me in a Costco visit. So. Um, if you don't have Trader Joe's next um, near you, I'm sorry, this haul is probably not for you, but you probably have a store that has something like the things that I'm showing you. So first we have this spicy, spicy meat pizza, which I really like um, from Trader Joe's. I usually split this with my husband. Hey, Jeej. And then of course, I'm gonna freeze this. This is their pumpkin Kringle. And I get that every single year. I got the pumpkin candle trio and this. Okay, so this has autumn leaves, maple sugar, and spice chai. Uh, Gigi, no scratching because I'm not giving you any treats. Um, spice chai, but there is a smaller version to these. So I got 
well, let's see, the vanilla, the vanilla pumpkin scented candle, and you can see the size difference here. And you see I got my hair done, so I always get curls because they last long and then they drop. She usually curls them tight. Well, you guys, oh, I was gonna say, I was gonna say had to Gigi, but she sat down. Okay, what else do we have here? So this one is, and these are the ones that come out every year. This is the Honeycrisp Apple. And it smells really good. So that's all I got for, for candles. And then tonight I'm gonna be making that one pot, what is it, the one pot lasagna. And I'm gonna be using my new pot for the first time. So everything's going in here and I'm gonna be making the one pot lasagna that I saw. Pretty sure it came from TikTok, but I saw it on Instagram and it looked pretty easy and it's that time of year, so why not? All right, what else do we have in here? This isn't Trader Joe's, but I picked up some batteries today because I have these little pumpkins that light up around the house, these crystal, crystal pumpkins. And I got these because I never have enough AA batteries and I need my pumpkins to shine bright like a diamond. This, I buy this every year and then wait for my daughter to make it. So my daughter will be here in, when does this expire? Obviously it's gonna be probably 2025, yeah. February 5th, 2026, actually. So when my daughter comes here for Thanksgiving, I'm gonna have her make these for the family and my grandson because I really, really like these. And then you can top it with the maple butter. And Aldi has their version of maple butter also. So yeah, you can just do this. You don't have to do serve, just a little bit of maple butter in this. And then there's this one, I was telling the guy that works at, um, at the store, during Christmas, it's called like the cinnamon chip pancakes and you can eat those with no syrup. They're that sweet. They're so good, I can make them and eat them with no syrup. So I'm waiting and stocking for those to come out. I got the tomato paste for my lasagna soup. I got some oregano. Gigi, you're not getting any more treats. Stop scratching at that door. I'm about to make you lunch. These came back. My husband loves, loves, um, pumpkin these pickle chips so these came back I was about to check out I saw a lady had these in their bag in her bag so I got my husband two of these got my lasagna, lasagna noodles what else do I have in there I'm gonna use um the roasted garlic marinara sauce I got these Japanese are they Japanese sweet potatoes? So I usually just get regular sweet potatoes, but I like the Japanese ones better and you can tell the difference because they're a darker purple. So I usually use this or eat one of these with either chicken or steak. So I got three of those. I got Little Miss Gigi's dog treats. You got a piece out already. You gotta eat the one you have out. Let's see here. This, this, this cinnamon bread is so good with coffee in the morning. It's like a pull apart bread. Oh, shoot, I thought something fell. It's like a pull apart bread, right? So in the morning, I'll just like make some coffee, pull a little piece off and, and eat that as a treat because your girl loves all cinnamon everything. Got this chicken from Costco. I need to drop in the freezer right now because it's kind of getting, it's kind of defrosting but I got it for the protein benefit. And I showed you guys this earlier, the collagen. Fresh basil for my soup. For the fat girl in me, pumpkin spice um, sheet cake. Good with coffee. I remember I think of something sweet. I always have to have something sweet with my coffee, so I got this to go with my coffee. The best chicken salad in the world. I'll eat this with crackers as a snack and I'm good to go. So yeah, I got this. It has um, white chicken meat, celery, carrots, and onions. Picked up a ribeye, got a ribeye here, and I got some meat, because I usually like make half of this for me just for some protein, and then I make half for Gigi just plain with nothing to mix in with her dog food, because she's just, she's spoiled like that. 
what else we have? I got some spinach because that normally I don't think of spinach and think of lasagna, but that um, that recipe had lasagna. I mean, had lasagna had spinach in it. So I mean, spinach can't hurt, and it's good for fiber. So I figured that I would I would get some spinach and put it in there also. Can't forget the ricotta. So I've got some ricotta cheese. Cheese for some sandwiches. And we're almost done here. Um, let's see. Fresh garlic, because you can't, I, I cheat sometimes. I sometimes use the minced garlic that already comes, you know, in the container, but I feel like when you're cooking Italian, like you, you can't cheat. You, you literally can't cheat your meal, so you have to get fresh garlic for that reason. So I got the fresh garlic. And let's see what else. We are using ground turkey. So we're going against the grain a little bit. They had, I think that the recipe I saw called for ground beef, but we're gonna go ahead and use the ground turkey. And I'm cheating with the cheese. I know I should be shredding the cheese myself. It's a big clock, but I just got some, I say mozzarella, but my husband's Italian and Irish, so he says mozzarella. So that's mozzarella cheese. And I got a cheese blend right here. And we're almost done. Lastly, I got, these drinks are so good. If you've never had the um, mushroom elixir, the only ones that I've tried, I've tried the root beer one, I've tried the cola one, I've tried the matcha one, and I've tried the lemon lime one, and they've all been good. And they only have 20 calories in them. They're, they don't take like, taste like kombucha. Is that how you say kombucha? I don't like kombucha. Kombucha, yeah, that's just not, I, I, I do not like kombucha at all. I don't like the taste. It's just, it's not for me. Then my favorite creamer is back, the Cinnabon creamer. I know, I'm gonna make you lunch in a minute. You gotta give me a second, I just got home. And you guys, that's it. All done, this is it. Might be a thumbnail. So I hope you liked, this might be a thumbnail. I don't know, part of my thumbnail. We'll see, we'll see. Um, I, I hope you like this. I hope this part wasn't too boring for you. But yeah, tonight that's the plan. I'm gonna make the lasagna soup. Um, my hair is done. And I don't know, my next video I might talk about, I think I was I was gonna do a video like on my hysterectomy and also I had carpal tunnel. So for people that are having carpal tunnel issues, I think I'm gonna just discuss how that surgery went. It wasn't too long, I like a few months out of recovery. And then as far as my hysterectomy, like I got a lot to say about that because it's like there were pluses and downsides. But we all know what the biggest plus is when you have a hysterectomy. But um, that's all I have for you guys today. I need to feed Gigi because she's getting really impatient and I will see you guys in the next video. Hope I didn't bore you. Bye.